Hey guys, this is Poet and I am here to do part two of my Jensen July Vampire coloring. So I went and colored his skin. So I'll try to remember to put a card or something or the link in the description box below. And so now we're going to go ahead and start with her dress. And I'm using a variety of markers. I'm starting with Coloristas. These were, um, these are Spectrum Noir. But these were in like a different kind of set that they released on HSN and they might have had some of these like at I don't know what I think it's called hobby craft in like various places in the UK or something I can't remember um but I got them on HSN a long time ago um in an auto ship when they first came out and so I just used them until they <laughs> they ran out so I'm going with the red and then later on I do a little bit something different with the, the vampire himself as far as his clothing goes but I wanted to go with like a rich kind of like velvety brocade look um so I'm going with this red and I'll be doing three colors as usual even though most of the time I end up doing more than three colors but so I'm just going to go ahead and go through here and get all the areas that I want this reddish color and then as you know or maybe don't know I don't know because if you're new here then you wouldn't necessarily know but I'm just gonna go through here and get all this base layer of this red <clears throat> and once I started going through it I was like oh let me go ahead and get all the red that I want from this pen because it's kind of going a little bit dry. So now I'm doing with the second color and it's a darker layer. So you got light, medium, and dark. So I've said this in other videos before. I either color light to dark or dark to light depending on the, the space that's there. So here we're going light to dark. And I'm just going over places where it would be darker. And I kind of want to make those curves of the trimming to show up. So I'm going around like the swoopy part of that as well. What kind of word is swoopy? It's the swoopy part. Wah, wah, wah. But you know what I mean. So I'm just going over all those areas. And then, of course, anything that's behind something. So the part that's behind his hand, the part that's behind her armpit, the part that's behind the glass or the goblet is going to be darker than anything else. And then I'm going down with this third color. And you can see that, well, looking at it, the left-hand side is going to be underneath the right-hand side of the dress because that's where the snaps are so that's going to be darker as well anyway i just love my vampire pages and they are fellas you know because she's not quite a vampire yet so yay <laughs> so here i'm going over again with the third color the darkest color and then i'm going back over with a color that was in between the first layer and the second layer because that first layer was that first marker was starting to dry out but they're not that far apart so it adds a little something to it at least I think so so another little tip is if you do it not quite solid and you kind of get like a little patchy look to it it'll look more like a fabric because you know no fabric when you look at it is just flat unless you're talking like a sat not even a satin but um like a latex or something which isn't really a fabric is it it's plastic So like I said, I'm trying to get all the pieces that I want this red color in here before my marker dries out. <laughs> oh, I don't want my marker to dry out. All right, so now I'm switched, switched to um, tri-blend markers. And these really aren't my favorite. But they were a good deal when I bought them. They were like 
uber cheap because I bought them in a set on clearance. And so the inside of this fabric, I want it to be like a red purple combo, but I didn't want it to be like purple. <laughs> so we're going with this reddish purple combo on the inside. I will say, not so much here, but in some places it is kind of difficult to figure out what is supposed to be what because since it's line drawing, some of it gets kind of like, okay, is this a piece of hair or is this a piece of skin? Is this part of a flower? What's going on, babies? I don't know. So don't get too hung up about it when you're doing your coloring. It's just a piece of paper. It's not like you're going to be selling it. Because you can't anyway because of copyright laws. Because it's not your work. So, just go with it. <laughs> just go with it. So, like here in this area is one of those things. Like, okay, what part of this is the web? And what part of this is supposed to be a flower? So, I don't know. What do we talk about these days? Hmm. I think this is why I do not like to do, I don't mind doing the, the coloring videos, whatever, but I don't really have a lot to say as far as, well, let's put it this way. I do have a lot I could say, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know, some stuff. controversies of the world and whatnot da, da, da. so in general I don't have very much to say as far as chit chat goes I guess because in general you guys let me know who out there is a small talk type of person I am not a small talk type of person which is probably why I have a difficult time like trying to figure out what to say in these voiceovers because I just, I have never been a small talk type of person. I don't do well at parties, as, you know, like gatherings and get togethers. And people are like, oh, just chit chatting around and da 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 da. I'm like, what is the point? <laughs> it's like, um, yeah, yeah. So I guess it's called the networking, like when you're in business and all that kind of stuff. I'm just not good at it. I'm just like, I don't have anything to say. So why am I going to sit here talking? Like, what's the point of that? <laughs> you either want to hire me or you don't. If you don't, oh well. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That kind of stuff. Yeah, if we find that we have something in common, which I know is kind of like, well, how do you find out if you have something in common if you don't chit chat and you don't do small talk? Well, you usually go to places where you would have something in common with those people. <laughs> I guess that's why I was never really big into parties at school either. You know, like when you go to college. Now, don't get me wrong. I did have fun in college. But it's because I went with, you know, if we went to a party, we went with my friends. Like, And it wasn't about, oh, just you and one person go to the party and then like chat up the whole world I'm like yeah no not interested <laughs> oh my god mm -mm. I guess if I have stuff to say I would rather write it you know write my stories and my poems and my short sketches and journal entries and zines and everything else Because although it may not seem like it, I'm really not that big of a talker as far as blah, blah, blah. Da, 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 da. Which is another thing, like when people ask me to do craft tutorials as well. I'm like, if it's a straight tutorial, I can pretty much do it, no problem. But like, the problem with that is... When I do tutorial videos, is I never know what I'm gonna. 
<laughs> I never know what it's going to turn out like because I just go with whatever's on my mind at the time, which is why I rarely make the same thing twice. Speaking of twice, how many people color the same thing twice or three times? Because I've watched videos where people are like, oh, if I don't like it, I'll color it again. And yeah, and it'll be like a two page spread and they'll talk about how they spend like hours and hours. And I'm like, yeah, there's not too many pages I want to do twice. Especially a double page spread. Like, what the devil? Alright, so now I am doing her skin. And you saw the colors. And what I want to do is I want to give her brown skin, right? So he's gray. In his little peeps and splotches of yellow. But I want to give her brown skin... And then I want her brown skin to start going gray. Because you see, she drank the blood. Vampire in the making. Now, here's where I will do another tip for you. Or actually a couple. You'll notice that number one, I went over everything on her face except for that red blood. Okay. Um, because if you think of it like makeup. And I heard this from somebody too a while ago. And I was like, oh yeah, that is true. If you think of it like makeup, when you put your own makeup on, if you wear makeup, you don't start with like white lips and white eyebrows and white eyelids, right? You don't start with paper white. Um, you start with your skin color. So unless you're going to do something like really light. So if I wanted her lips to be like really light green or something, then you might not want to put the skin color over. But otherwise, just go ahead and color the whole face the base skin color because that's what you would paint your lipstick and your makeup on anyway. You're not going to do it on white paper or cream color if you're using, um, you know, like something that's not Amazon printed, like a... Oh... What's her name? I can't think. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> the papers were their cream. Okay, now here's another thing too. Here's another tip. Keep in mind, if you're using alcohol markers, and if you're trying to do a blend, make sure it is with alcohol markers as far as, um, because Sharpies don't really, they don't, they're not alcohol markers, so they don't, they're not made to blend like alcohol markers. Um, Water-based markers aren't made to blend like alcohol markers. You can get them to blend, but there's different ways you have to do it. And you have to do it in a different kind of speed. And you're not going to get the same results. Okay. So, don't forget that. So, remember this is alcohol marker, not just any oat marker that you have. <clears throat> Now that does, like I said, that doesn't mean you can't get them to blend, but they're got there. You have to blend them according to what they are. So, for example, ink tints. You can definitely get ink tints pencils to blend, right, with each other, but you can't let it dry and then expect it to blend with the next color the same way an alcohol marker would. Okay, and then with that, you'll notice that you have to or it's best to do longer streaks and to keep it wet if you want to do blending. Otherwise, you'll get lines. Now, if that's what you want, that's okay. So, that's why most of the time, if you see me color, I'll do like a section at a time that makes sense. So, like, I'll do this hand and then do the other hand like with the other colors and because the space is here relatively small you can pretty much do it all together but if you were not quite certain I would still do it separately so like do the chest area and the arms then do the face and then do the hands versus coloring all the base color and then all the other one and then all the other one 
Okay, so I'm doing the same thing as far as color blending. I have a light, a medium, and a dark. But then I'm going in with gray. So you see the same gray that I used on his lips, I used on her skin. So she's brown, but then you can see she's starting to go gray. Okay. And I wanted to add some more depth to his face, so I did that. And so I'm going back and putting more gray on hers. And so this is another one. This is a darker one. And it's the same concept. The dark places are the places that are hidden behind are going to be darker than everything else. So you would add a darker gray and a darker gray and a darker gray. I may go back and add a tinge of green. I'm not sure. You can't see it, but I'm doing the same thing in her face. I don't know. I forgot to scoot it down. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to go with his clothing. And typically, you know, you see it and it's all black and it's got the black cape and blah, blah. But I wanted to go a different route. So, I don't know. It kind of, <laughs> it kind of gives me um, maybe like Beauty and the Beast vibes on the green side or... Um, Maybe in, even like a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde kind of thing going on. But I didn't want to do the whole like, he's got on a black cape with a red lining. I was like, yeah, no, we're not going there. But I do like this green because it looks rich. By the time you get finished, it looks rich. But at the same time, it looks kind of old. <laughs> I don't know. I just liked it. Right, right. And it's following the same thing. So I did a light color as the base. And it was a Y1. And then a Y2. And then later on I decide that I want that whole inside of his sleeve darker. So then I go back over it. Let's see, I used the Y3. And then I decided that the Y3 wasn't as dark as I wanted to go. So I pulled out an Aspire marker. And it's a Y. I can't remember the number. You just saw it very quickly. But it is darker. And it's also a different brand. And that's the other thing too. You can mix your markers. I do it all the time. Okay, so we talked about small talk and <laughs> what not to say and coloring double pictures. Mm. Does, is anybody out there into vampire movies? I love me some vampires. Vampire movies and vampire books. So, what is your favorite vampire movie? Or vampire book. Or both. What's your least favorite? So forth and so on. Have you ever dressed up like a vampire for Halloween or a party? <laughs> have you, have you? I don't know. Okay, so I will tell you. The <laughs> Okay, so Twilight, right? Y'all know Twilight. The books themselves, they were entertaining, all right? 
I want, they weren't aren't masterpieces of literature, but they're entertaining. I was disappointed with the movies because I'm like, seriously, these movies could have been so awesome. The movies were like, meh, they're all right. Now, of course, I watched all four of them because you kind of got to. You know, if you saw the first one, you kind of have to watch the rest of them. Right? Okay. And the one thing that I totally was like, are you flipping kidding me about these these vampires? Was the, I'm so crystally when I walk outside in the sun. Now, imagine this, okay? So, you saw the movie, right? And he walks out in the sun. And he shows her that he's all sparkly. Now, I looked at that for the very first time. And I was like, are you kidding me? Drag queens are more sparkly than that. <laughs> I'm like, come on. If you're going to be a sparkle vampire, I want to see rhinestones, diamonds, rubies, shining, shimmering, sending light across the, <laughs> the whole world and everything. Not like this kind of light glow. I'm like, what the heck is that? That was disappointing. Now, my favorite vampire movie of all time is Bram Stoker's Dracula. I love that movie. And I love it so much. Number one, it's a good movie. And number two, I love it so much because it actually follows the book pretty closely. Except they change the vampire so instead of being like this like totally evil guy it's this total love story and I'm like oh my gosh oh my gosh I totally love it and the book is one of my favorite favorite books total in total you know ever of all time um and I've read it like uh, four or five times and I am a person who does not like to read a book more than once even if it's a good book so if I've read it more than once, it's like, you know, I have to like it. And I'm about to start it again because I just found it in my collection. So Brown Stoker's Dracula is my fave, my favorite book, as well as my favorite vampire movie of all time. Now, you want to talk about the scariest vampires? Okay. The scariest vampire movie is Nosferatu. Because that dude is creepy as all get out with his long fingers. Ah, ah, he's just creepy. So, yeah. That is the worst. Scariest vampire movie. Well, we'll say scariest vampire movie. If you want to talk about the funniest vampire movie that's not supposed to be funny, is Blackula. <laughs> From the 70s. Oh my gosh. Okay, so you know the 70s is full of, like, black exploitation movies, right? But Blackula is hilarious. It's not supposed to be, but it is. <laughs> Just say it. If you want something that's funny, there you go. Mm -hmm. Now, let's talk about the scariest vampire book. Mm. Brian... Loomley is the author. Brian Loomley. And he's got his Necroscope series. Oh my gosh. That thing is like. Ah! Now that's a creepy evil vampire. <laughs> Alright. Well thanks for watching this section. And stay tuned for part three.